Hello, 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 everyone. This is Nan, and this is another manager interview with the uh, with the uh, host of not the host, the uh, manager of the Trick House Tricos, Lucky Piper, and his retained player, Metariolu Seven. Say hello, guys. Yeah. Hello. So, Lucky Piper, I hear this is your first MPO of managing. Yes, sir. That's fantastic. How does it feel? Uh, feels good. You know, fun. Wait, that's it? It just feels good? Dude, I don't know what else you want me to say. Like, I'm having fun so far. It's week one. All we did was the draft. All right. Uh, okay, then. Uh, how about you, uh, MR, uh, Metariolu7? It's going to be really annoying right. for me to say that. <laughs> that's our shadow manager. Yeah. How does it feel yeah. to be retained? Uh, yeah, it feels nice. Really. The team's pretty cool. I know this isn't your first time being in a tournament level, uh, well, like a really yeah. high stakes tournament game. You've done a uh, Monotype World Cup, I believe, uh, mm -hmm. that was last MPO, Mono. BLT, like you're pretty much everywhere. Not BLT. What? He was in BLT? Was it? Oh, wait, he managed in BLT. I managed, yeah. Yeah, that's literally just how good you are. You can manage in BLT, you know? Crazy. I like to call it high stakes, though. All right, all right. Relax, Piper. <laughs> But uh, without further ado, let's start with some of the uh, more basic questions. So, how do you feel about your draft, Viper? Do you feel like there's anyone you missed or got taken away from you? Yeah, we did. Uh, we got everyone we wanted for SS. We got everyone we wanted for most of our tiers. But our two Usum slots, we had like a 20k max on um, on Empo, and then like a 10k max on Gondra. And both of those went early and for either a price we put or a price too high. So we had to change some stuff around. Uh, I'm actually much more happy with our Usum slot because when we made our our draft plan, Prezek had not signed up, but I'd much rather have Prezek than either of the two I named. Yeah, um, we I did have a weird... We had to shift some stuff because originally Wonka was Oros and we were going to have someone play Usum. And then it was like, okay, Jace is going to Oros, Wonka, Usum, and now it's Martha. And so we did move some stuff around, but I would rather have Prezek than the other two I said. So... I'm happy with our draft. All right. How do you feel, MR7? These are your teammates we're talking about, after all. It was his draft plan. Um, yeah. What? You all made my... the draft plan? Yeah. Wow. So not <laughs> only is he the shadow manager, but he also created the draft plan for the entire yep. MPO. Wow. Yeah. You just mm -hmm. have so much on your resume right now. It's actually crazy. But uh, next question, uh, which gen do you guys think you're the strongest in? And which one do you think you guys are the weakest in? I'd have I to think, say our SS is strongest. I think we have the best SS on the tour, yeah. yeah. Um, our weakest is probably best of three because I'm probably the worst in the pool. Yeah, like, not even to say you're bad, but like, the pool's just so sad. The pool, so, yeah, no, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm the worst in the pool. So uh, I would say our best of three is probably our weakest link. Yeah, I feel like a couple of other teams have that issue too. I mean, all the teams have, like, a, at least a, like, known player. Like, the other weakest link, like, the other weak best of three players, like, I think Desem is a step above the others, too. But I think me and Desem are a bit below the rest, and then the other ones are all just so good. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, who do you think is the biggest threat to your team right now? Like, team-wise and player-wise? Um, well, team-wise probably the Gengars just because they I think that's the best team I think they have the players that care the most I I've like probably taken one series off chate in my time playing like those are just players that I'd really not uh not come forward to playing yeah I'm and give it up. as a player I would still say chate uh like I said I don't know if I've beaten chate in the best of three I've definitely gotten the like, close ones but I don't know if I've done it so I'm gonna have to do that here so all right. Uh, what about you, Mr. Seven? Oh, yeah, I agree with the Gengars. Like, just them having those two strong routines in, like, Peachy and Titan, that was just really good. Yeah. For player-wise, I'm not really sure, but we'll see what happens. All right. Um, all right, a little bit more of an off-the-cuff question, but I know uh, Meta Realu 7 has, uh, he has quite a bit of an interesting... Uh, Opinion on Parasong, I believe. <laughs> oh no! 
I heard that you had some sass you were saying about him before. Dude, say what All you right. feel, mother. Don't hold back. Uh, I didn't say anything. I mean, yeah, I agree that 11k was not good, but it is uh, what it is. Uh, trying to hide again. Classic Mr. Seven move. No, I did not say anything about him, but all right. Yeah, I haven't seen him say anything either, but who knows? All right. Uh, let's see. This draft was actually kind of weird. From just from spectating it myself, it was like kind of a weird. Uh... Yeah, I, like at the beginning, I saw cookies get nommed right away. I thought it was <laughs> a dream or something. <laughs> okay, I I had known that he was buying cookies, and I assumed he was just doing it like, haha, cookies first nom. Because, like, in reality, I, I personally think that the noms don't matter too much because, like, you can bid on whoever anyone noms. So, like, yeah. the only time it matters is when, like, there's times where uh, I want to nom. Like, let's say, I was what I was going to do, I was going to nom Jay Stukin, and I was going to try to get the Crows to, like, up bid for him and get him. And then I was going to get an Oros and a Black White for way cheaper because then every team would have an Oros. But then someone else nommed Jace before I could. Or no, someone else nommed Crashy. And I was scared that crows were going to up it. Because you won the crashy, right? Well, yeah, I got crashy. Yeah, he was in our plan. I was, yeah, we had him in our manager chat. I was buying crashy from the start, for sure. Alright, um... Let's see... Uh, so, Piper, I hear that you have quite an uh, infinity for certain cultures. Uh, certain <laughs> animated cultures, so... Uh, Alright. <laughs> what do you mean? I, I mean, there's no, like, I don't know. When I was in, like, freshman year, I watched Naruto, and since then, I've watched a lot of anime. I just, I don't know. It's something I, like, I don't do it as much anymore. I spent a lot of time on Showdown. I played League for a couple of years, and it, like, took a lot of time away. So, like, I'm not as into it anymore, but I still do really enjoy when I watch it, and I used to watch it, like, 24 7. What about you, Emma? You are with the weed manager after all. <laughs> uh, I watch anime uh, time to time. Like I've been watching Hunter x Hunter recently. Yeah, we're converting Metal Real Seven so we can retain him again next year. Oh yeah, turn into a weed. <laughs> Actually, crazy. That's what quarantine does, bro. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh. What was your rationale? Actually, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I asked you this already, so... Any players where you shot didn't get in, and any players that you were shot did get in? Okay, I... I, uh, I would need to actually look at the thing to know. Give me one sec, but... Yeah, I definitely, definitely think... Kepper, you, and someone else that I saw, I don't remember who it was, though, were gonna yeah. get in. Those are the like, big ones. I, Maki's, that was it. I thought yeah. Kepper and Maki's were for sure gonna slip in this 3Ks. Uh, I think Kepper's the most shocking there, cause like, while he's not like super proven, and I don't think he did tryouts, he's like part of that whole Nexus group, and like, he he does play alright, so I thought he'd get him for sure. Yeah, like, he did find in BLT. I'm I'm pretty surprised he didn't get him. Yeah. And then just you and Maki's are the only ones. Like, the, the rest of people, like, there is good players that want to draft it. There's Banks who did alright, there's like... But for the most part, I didn't expect too many people. Yeah, I was most of the big players got in. Also shocked that Maki's didn't get in because I, I think am they're very good player. He seemed really motivated to. Yeah, he, deal. that's the thing. He's so motivated. I, I am shocked that a uh, Brist got in because I was believing that no one would bother to spend 3K for someone who talks about their Snapchat 24/7 and probably won't play any games. <laughs> oh my god. But I mean, hey, Zaref did it. I guess that's his boy. Yes, it is. Um, any uh, tips for players that didn't make it into the draft this time around? Um, I mean, it's the same, like, every manager probably says this, but you really should not give up because you didn't get in one. And, like, I, I hate that it's like this and, like, this is just the way it is, but if you don't, if you're not friendly with any of the managers and they all don't like you, you're not going to get in. Like, another player that I think could probably get in when I was playing ability was Pause. But none of the managers are close to them. A lot of them actually don't like him. So yeah, he doesn't get in. Like, you should try to become friendly with the people that are going to be determining whether you're in the tours or not. If you do want to get in. Yeah, you, you got to show that you're a good team presence. Yeah, like, you have to show that you're cool. You can be a good teammate. And that you're... And people draft their friends a lot of the time. Like, there's... 
Like, for example, Crass is in the tour. I'm going to bet money Crass doesn't play a game. But, you mm -hmm. know, people like Crass. He's cool. He's fun. He's a good friend of theirs, so he got in. I think a big thing is, like, not sucking up, but just, like, be friendly with the people that are going to determine your spot. All right, that's pretty solid advice. What about you, MR7? You've been drafted to many, many tournaments. What would you say helped you the most? Uh, so you just gotta, like, goat. keep trying and, like, you know, just play the games and keep trying. Kind of like what Piper said already. All right. You gotta show your good team presence. All right, I have a few... I was planning on doing an actual interview with Mr. Seven anyway, so I'm gonna ask him a few questions I have to uh so, if you want to put any input, Piper, let me know. Oh, I will. Alright. So, Mr. Seth, how does it feel to be one of the youngest and most successful Monotype players? Wait, what'd you say? How does it feel to be one of the most successful and youngest Monotype players? How's that uh, feel? I mean, feels nice. I mean, I still don't think I've proven myself, like, completely yet, but, you know, I'm working on it. Alright. Uh... I don't know, I only say it because, like, you have a lot of showings and a lot of, like, you go for quite a bit when you are, like, up for it. Because you go for, like, yeah. you retain for, like, what, like, 12k? Mm hmm Yeah, that's not, like, a bad amount. And you also got, like, I'm pretty sure you were 17th in the last gen's, uh, last gen's, uh, what is it called again? Uh, circuit tour? Yeah. yeah, circuit. And then I beat Chate first round. <laughs> you beat the best player on your first yeah. round. But, yeah, I, I don't know. I just feel like you have a lot. I think people also think that you have, like, a lot going on right now. I'm pretty sure Piper can test this too, right? What am I doing? Uh, yeah, that is the GOAT. He's our young prodigy. We expect him <laughs> to get better with age too. Yep. Trust me. MPL, like, 9 will still be retaining him. <laughs> Um, next question for Mr. Seven. Uh, what inspired you to actually use the tag that you have right now? Um, well, like I, I made this account when I was pretty young, so... You're still young? Yeah, I, I am. But, like, I made this account <laughs> when I was, like, 10 or something. And I thought it was a cool name at the time. What's the meta? Like, is it, like, that was supposed to be, like... Like, Honestly, I... I couldn't even tell you. I okay. Forget. And was the seven, I think you said this, but was that just for the color? Yeah, the color, and I like seven, not the, I like the number seven at the time. Okay. Alright, um, let's see, next question for you. Uh, what is, besides Pokemon, what are your favorite games? Like, video games? Uh, I like playing Nintendo. Nintendo games are, I enjoy. Any particular favorites? Uh, probably like Mario stuff, like Super Mario Bros, Mario Kart. I used to play that a lot when I was younger. You're still young. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Alright, so for Piper specifically, I have a couple of questions as well. Oh, let's go. So let's see. <laughs> uh, alright, Piper. So, what is your favorite anime of all time? Uh, I, I really, it's tough for me to answer that, and like... I'm someone who gets so, like, caught up in things that I watch where, like, I, I would say that right after I watched it. But I'd say all time it's probably, uh, it's either, like, probably made Sama because I rewatch it, like, every couple months. Because, I don't know, it just, like, I just have fun watching it even though I know exactly what happens. And, like, it's just such a nice, like, atmosphere and good characters. Otherwise, Clannad and Your Line April because I like sad things. Like, I don't know, they can make me cry, so... They stick in my head better. But I'll give it to Maid Sama. Alright. I've never heard of any of these shows because, as you know, I'm incompetent in anime. <laughs> yeah, very sad. Very sad. Um, next question for you. Uh, what would you say? Was, what, what got you into the Monotype community, community in general? Well, okay, so. I had, like, Pokemon as a kid, and I tried OU in, like, 2015, maybe. I think it was XY. I had tried a U and I didn't like it and I played for like a week and then I was like, nah, I'm not touching this. So that's when I stopped and that's kind of when I got into anime and like then I got into League. So 
I was super anti like playing competitive mods. I didn't want to. But my uh, my brother Rap Yogurt, or I guess he was Alliance Purgatory back then. He was like super into it, and like he always told me the mod type was fun, and it just sounds stupid to me. I was like, why do I want to play Fire vs Water? Like that sounds idiotic. Um. Then eventually he got me to like try it for a bit and I enjoyed playing Psychic and then Fairy and I was like, okay, this is actually like super fun. Like I remember beating Fairy or beating Steel with Fairy and I was like, wow, this is like super sick to do. And then he got me into the cursed side server. I quit a little bit after because it was super dead. And then BLT is probably the reason I actually stuck with Mono and like I met Attribute and Maroon and they invited me to the Imp. So I've stayed since. That's actually a pretty cool origin story, not gonna lie. So, oh yeah, I, I tried to make it like an anime background. <laughs> so if it wasn't for Rappy Ogre, you wouldn't, we probably wouldn't be seeing the MPO man I, I, Lucky Piper right now. I never would have touched Mons if it wasn't for Rappy Ogre making me. We and then like, I, I met like Ty and Crashy. Like I for sure, when I quit Azure, it's cause I didn't like it, but I did like keep a few friends, like I met Ty and Crashy there. And then when I came onto Maine, they like started t talking more. So I was like, I already knew some people, and then I got to know some more. So. Yeah, that's pretty nice though. That your brother got you into competitive Pokemon. Yeah, and then he quit. He doesn't even play anymore. <laughs> it's funny how that works sometimes. He'll still like log on to play some games, but like I tried to make him like do tryouts from PL and like get back into it, and he was like, Nah, I'm too busy. So sad. Uh, on that same thing, Mr. I mean Metareal Seven, what got you into competitive Pokemon? Uh, so my friend introduced me to Shieldon a while ago, last when I was like ten, and I kind of liked it, but then I kind of stopped. And then like around uh, eighth grade, I got back into Mons. I started playing like Moto more, and yeah, I just got into the scene. Wait, I don't got pools. Or when was eighth called. grade for you? Um, like how many years now have you been playing? So like I started like two years ago, like 2018, yeah. like summer 2018. Yeah. Wow, 2018. That that feels like so long ago. Uh, let's see. One more question for the both of you, and then we're gonna do some closing remarks. Uh, so lucky Piper, I've been wondering for the longest amount of time. Okay, you cut out right there, but. Oh, did I cut out? Alright, so, I've been wondering for the longest time, like, who do you think is, like, the, the, the like the best player in the entire mod of things? Well, okay. Um, I personally have said since, like, since I was pretty new, and, like, I guess it hasn't changed. I think, um, Ayn is one of the best, because he's, like, him and Jade are two people I, I would put at the top together. Because, uh, I really don't know if I, like... If I was to play them in a tournament, I would assume that I would always lose. Um, other two people who I think are actually, like, kind of underrated and should be a lot more, like, hyped up are... Well, I guess not anymore. They're probably pretty rated now, but Trichotomy and Phaeton are two people that I've always, like, thought were amazing players and were among the top. Um, I'd have a tough time beating either one of them, too. I would put those four together in, like, the... And of course, like, I haven't seen Thorn play too much, or like, I don't know much of Lycan. But my personal top players are like the Chait, Yain, Trichotomy, Phaeton group. Yeah, I agree with Piper, so I think those, two, like, are, like, probably some of the best Mono players. If I'm to give it to one person, I'll give it to Chait. But... Yeah, same. He's just been so consistent lately. Yeah, he's just someone that I think is so good. Alright, alright, and now last question for Mr. Seven. Uh... What would be your advice to other young players to get better at the game? Um, just keep trying, honestly. Like, I know it's, it's a pretty repetitive, but honestly, that's just the best advice. Keep trying. Alright, now I'm gonna ask, like, one more, and I promise this is the last question I'm gonna ask you guys before closing okay. remarks. Um, what was the first type you remember using when you started Monotype? Uh, for me, I think it was probably Fire, honestly. It seemed like a cool type at the time. I'm pretty sure mine was Psychic, but there is a chance. I don't remember if this was before or after, but I did have this Bright Powder Ice Team with Swine Up on it that I really liked when I was new. Swine Up. 
Store. Yeah, I had like five bright powders with snow cloak, and then no, I think it was four bright powders with snow cloak, and then two. I had vanillux and a and whatever the other ice. Oh, and Obama snow because I don't think Nine Tails is out yet. And I was like, oh man, dude, I can just dodge everything. I'll never lose. That's disgusting. But I think that was honestly after psychic, which is very disappointing. I just remember my first psychic team had like assault vest and analytic army and like some other whack. Uh, it was a mess. So yeah, since you talked a little bit about your first team, I want to hear what Mr. Seven's first team was. Oh, yeah, I don't really remember, but I think Fire was one of the first types I used, because, you know, as a kid, I thought that was a cool type. He just wanted to use Charizard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wanted to use Charizard and Infernape on the same team. Um, Alright, so without further ado, I think that will be the end of the questions, finally. So, any closing remarks about MPL or anything? Uh, yeah, I mean, we're gonna win. Yeah, our team's motivated. We're gonna win. All right, it was a pleasure talking to you both. I hope you guys do very well this season. And for everyone else that's watching, I hope you guys had an entertaining time listening to these two goons talk. So, without further ado, that is the end of the video, and I will be signing off. <laughs>